Hey guys, welcome to this channel. If you're new here, my name is Muhammad Hassan. I'm an engineer currently working as a teacher, preparing students for their medical entrance exam. In this video, I will be discussing about trick to solve transistor circuit problem. In order to successfully understand how to solve this kind of problem, you just need the basic concept of KVL. If you're not sure about KVL, then stick to the video. I'll explain this concept in short and it will be easy. And a final bit of advice for you all is that after watching this video, please practice the concept two to three times so that the concept will remain in your head for a longer period of time. Before explaining the concept, I'll share with you a very beautiful quote. And I love quotes because it helped me to push myself to work towards my goals and maybe this will help you too. The quote says, if you don't practice, you don't deserve to win. Even though the statement is small, but extremely profound and strong. If you are enjoying the video, then please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload this kind of fun physics video. So without any further delay, let's jump into our first question of transistor circuit. Question says, in the circuit shown in the figure, the input voltage VI is equal to 20 volt. Okay. And the voltage VBE, that is the voltage across the base emitter is zero. And VCE, the voltage across collector emitter is zero. The value of IB, IC and beta. So these are the three quantities that you need to find out. So let's see how to do that. As I said earlier, that in order to solve this kind of circuit problem, you need the basic concept of KVL. So let's understand what is KVL. In KVL we know that in a closed loop, the sum of all the potential is basically equal to zero. So I'll explain that first. So write down KVL, okay. Now let's understand how to build the equation, KVL equation. So let's take a simple uh, circuit. Let's suppose this one is resistance one. There is another resistance R2 and a source potential like battery, suppose V2 and make this one V1 and let this be the closed circuit. Okay. And let the current through this be I. Okay. Then how to find out the KVL equation? So in order to successfully write down the KVL equation every time correctly is to use this technique. How to do that? This is the positive plate. This is the negative plate. This is the positive plate. This is the negative plate. This is easy. Now let's uh, identify the resistor part. Now when the current is moving from this side, okay, it's moving this side. Then what happens? We know what does resistance do? Resistance actually eats up energy. That is it eats up potential. Okay. So the moment the current starts flowing through the resistance, what happens is the potential starts to get lower in number. That is, it loses potential. Okay. So by the time it reaches this part, okay, let's say this is A part and this is B. The moment it reaches B, the potential actually gets decreased due to the property of resistance. As we know that resistance eat away potential. So you can verily say that the potential at this side should be higher than this side, isn't it? I hope this part is clear. And again, when the current starts to flow and reaches this resistance, so suppose let be this point be C and this point be D, then again, we can say the current enters the R2 resistance, the potential starts decreasing as that is the property of resistance, it eats away potential. So by the time it reaches D, the potential decreases, that is the potential at C will be higher than the potential at D. I hope this concept is clear. Once this is clear, KVL is as easy as anything. Like it's very easy. Now to create the equation, what to say? It's just follow the step and you'll get it. Now the current is moving in this direction as we have already mentioned. You can take it in any direction, doesn't matter. Still the equation will be the same. Okay. So if you consider this loop, then what will happen? See the current 
enters from this side to this so from positive to negative so we will write positive i r1 again after this the current enters this resistance from positive to negative so we will write again positive i r2 again then the current moves this side and it enters the positive plate first so it will be plus v2 again this current move this side this side and again enters this battery but here the current enters through the negative plate so it will be minus because it is entering first the negative plate so it will be minus v1 and the whole sum will be zero this is how you need to uh, write the kvl equation i hope this is clear once this is clear this kind of circuit equation is very easy okay so i hope this is clear now let's uh, understand the circuit okay so let's see now how to apply kvl in these circuits okay uh, so we'll learn that now in order to do so understand that in any circuit there can be two loops one from the input side another from the output side the input side is this one the output side is this one so you can create loop in these two sides so how to create the first loop from the input side it is like from vi higher potential it will go to ground okay at the ground the loop is closed okay so you need to move from the battery towards the ground okay this is how a closed loop is formed now in the output side another loop can be formed from battery and then it will enter the transistor and then it will come towards the ground so this is again a closed loop okay these are the two loops that mostly happens in a transistor circuit okay now let's uh, analyze the loop now you need to find out iv ic and beta isn't it so iv we know iv is in the input side when this is the base so the current entering the base is iv this is collector so the current entering the collector is ic and this is emitter so the current coming out of emitter is ie this is the basic concept of transistor so we'll now uh, write the loop equation in the input side so it will be as i have said that current is flowing from this side so this will be plus and this is minus so it will be plus ib rb plus bbe this potential drop this plus and minus plus vbe that is base to emitter base there is a potential drop from base to emitter because uh, in the base emitter there is a junction where again there is a potential drop we know that due to depletion region so always remember that in the junction there is a potential drop and that is vbe in the input terminal okay in the input side of the loop another is minus vi c actually what happens is this vi how it can be written it is actually like this v and it is closed like this actually okay so this is another way of representing the loop so we can see that this is plus and this is minus so once the current enters from this to this so it is entering the negative terminal first so i have written minus here okay this is equal to zero i hope the circuit is clear now i am going a little bit slow in order to make you understand the concept of kvl okay so i hope this is clear once this equation is clear so this will be equal to zero now let's see what's given we need to find out ib so that's our target ib rb is given to be 500 kilo ohm vbe is zero it's given in the question so this is nothing but vi vi is given to be 20 volt so let's write down directly and ib from here will be if we write 20 divided by 500 into 10 to the power 3 then it will turn out to be uh, 40 micro ampere okay so this is how you need to uh, write the loop they have asked you to find out ib we can easily understand that the loop should be in the input side as we know the input current is ib now in, if we apply the same concept here you need to find out ic 
So it's easy again. IC is, is in the output side. So the loop should be in the output side, like output side loop. So once you understand this, then it's easy. Again, we'll run the loop, but this time it is it will be from the output side. Okay. So it's very easy. So let's write this loop equation here. Okay. It will be, see the current is flowing from this direction. So it will be plus and this will be minus. Okay. So we can write down IC RC plus VCE. We know that there are potential drop across the junction. And here we are going from collector to base to emitter. So we'll take the whole potential drop that is from collector to emitter VCE. Okay. And then we will write out a minus like V output that is here. It is 20 volt given should be equal to zero. Now how we can complete this circuit. Actually, you can understand this circuit in this way. If we just see this part is actually not given because they are assuming that you know this concept. Okay. That's why they have omitted this part. Actually, the drawing is like this. Uh, connect this and this is the output side here. It should be 20. Okay. Like this. So this is plus, this is minus. So if you run the loop like this, what will happen? The current will enter the negative part first. So this 20 will be negative. I hope now this equation is clear. So I'll rub this, uh, the circuit that I have drawn. Yeah, it's done. So this is the equation. From here, we can directly find out IC, like 20 VC is zero. It's given divided by RC. Now RC is given to be four into 10 to the power three. If we solve this, then we will get actually five milliampere. So this is how you need to solve IB and IC. So the most important part here is this equation that is the output side KVL and the input side KVL. Once you can figure out this, any circuit problem of transistor is easy as anything. Okay. Now the only quantity that is left is beta that is current amplification in case of common emitter. And we know that it is output amplification means output by input here. Beta is current amplification. So we'll use I see that is output current by input current and we know all the data as we have solved earlier. So it is 5 milliampere divided by 40 micro ampere. If we solve this, we will get 125 and that is how you need to find out beta. I hope the concept of KVL is clear because the most important part in this question is actually KVL, how to apply that. And that is explained in this circuit. Just practice this once or twice and it will be easy. It's not that tough. Okay. So this is all from the question one. Let's try another question on circuit so that the concept gets solidified. Okay. Let's jump into our second problem. This question says in the circuit shown here, the transistor used here has a current gain beta is equal to 100. What should be the bias resistor RB that is this resistance so that VCE is equal to 5 volt and it's given neglect VBE. So again, we'll see, we know that there are two KVL, like two KVL loop, one using IB, another using IC, that is the base current and the collector current. So let's analyze first how will be the loop. So the first loop we can understand is from this battery, this through the collector that is this current is IC. So this is the IC loop and it will form a closed loop. So this is the first KVL equation we can create. Another KVL equation we can create is from this battery entering the base resistor through the transistor and into the battery again. So this is another closed loop. Okay. So these are the two loops. So let's analyze one by one or create the KVL equation. If we analyze this loop, okay, so what will be the KVL equation? This current will be IC because it is entering the collector. So the KVL equation will be for this loop. We know the current is entering from this side. So this will be plus, this will be minus. So IC into 1 kilo ohm, that is 1 into 10 to the power 3, plus voltage across collector to emitter, that is VCE, and minus. 
10 volt is equal to 0 since the current is entering from this minus plate first so it will be minus 10 okay once we've created this we can easily calculate ic from here ic is equal to 10 by vce is 5 volt so this will be minus 5 divided by 1 into 10 to the power 3 this will be 5 milliampere so we got IC so our first loop is done now coming to our next loop that is through RB if we take this current going through RB then transistor and then back to the battery it will be this current is IB because it is entering the base so we will write that and the current is moving from this side so this is plus this is minus so IB RB plus again if you look at we are moving through junction so there will be potential drop here plus VBE that is potential drop across the base emitter junction and then minus 10 volt is equal to 0 and in the question it's given that neglect VBE so this will be 0 so IB is equal to 10 by RB but the problem here is we don't know IB we don't know RB so we cannot solve it as of now so we'll look at the question again what is given we can see that beta is given so beta is 100 this is given and we know that beta is actually current amplification that is output current by input current so from here we can find out IB easily that because we know IC that is 5 milliampere that is 10 to the power minus 3 and beta is given to be 100 okay so this is 5 into 10 to the power minus 5 now we will use this value and substitute here to find out RB so RB will be 10 by 5 into 10 to the power minus 5 so this will be actually 200 into 10 to the power 3 ohm this is how you need to solve this kind of circuit problem done so isn't it easy once you can figure out the loop and how to create the KVL equation, these kind of questions are simple as that. You just need the concept of the rather the basic concept of KVL. I hope I was able to explain you the concept of KVL and how to create the KVL equation in case of transistor circuit. This is all about the transistor circuit problem. Yeah, that's all for this video. If you like the video, then please smash the like button and do let me know in the comment section below whether the video was helpful till next time enjoy your studies and build your concept and i will catch you all guys in my next video